Are you curious about the pros and cons of a Melarus tax that almost every new builder is having you pay? Well, now you're about to find out exactly what those pros and cons are so you can decide for yourself if that's an expense you're able to justify. By the way, I'm Andre, your Cali Valley Realtor, treating your next home purchase like it's my own and consistently providing you value with weekly videos on my YouTube channel that cover the Central Valley, its cities, and its new construction homes for anyone looking to relocate out here. So subscribe if you're interested in learning more because I'm doing all of the research for you so you don't have to. Ready to make a move out here? Hit me up. I'm happy to help. I got you. Now, let's do this. Number one, community development. The Melarus tax contributes to the development of essential community infrastructure, including schools, parks, and utilities, all helping to enhance the overall quality of life in the community. Number two, improved facilities. Because of these taxes, homeowners benefit from upgraded public facilities, ensuring the community has modern amenities and services. Number three, higher property values. Well-maintained infrastructure and amenities funded by Melarus taxes can help to positively impact property values that could potentially lead to a higher resale value when you later decide to sell your home. Number four, better school districts. Melarus communities are more likely to have higher performing schools and better school districts with nice school campuses. Number five, neighborhood safety. Typically neighborhoods that have a Melarus tax are safer and have much more of a police presence. Time out, did you know that this video is just a drop of the great content you'd find on my city websites for those looking to relocate into the valley? These sites are for the most popular relocation cities out here in the valley that teach you all about the city, plus there's tons of first time buyer and recurring buyer information, incentives to save you money on your move, and much more. The links are in the description, check them out. Number one, the financial burden. A huge drawback is the additional financial burden homeowners must absorb due to this tax. This can often put a strain on the budgets of individuals and families and push some of them out of the range of affordability. Number two, long-term commitment. Melarus taxes often continue beyond the repayment of the bond's life, making it a long-term financial commitment for homeowners in these districts and in some areas can go on indefinitely. Number three, uncertain future costs. Home buyers may face uncertainty regarding future Melarus tax increases as rates can be subject to change based on the ongoing needs of the community. With that being said, they can legally only go up a maximum of 4% a year. Number four, limited control. Property owners have limited control over how Melarus funds are allocated and spent as decisions are often made by local government entities and community facilities districts. And do understand that your Melarus tax you pay can be used in other neighborhoods, not just your community. Number five, they're not tax deductible. Melarus taxes are not tax deductible on federal tax returns the way your property taxes are. So that's also a very tough one to swallow and definitely worth taking into consideration when deciding to buy. So I hope this video helped. If so, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more about Central Valley Cities and its surrounding area. If you got questions or comments, reach out to me. And whether you're looking to move in nine days or 90 days, feel free to hit me up. I'd be happy to help you. Until next time, I will see you in the next video.